Okay. We are here on the new okay. PDCL Twitch channel commentating a competitive Cake Wars map as Boy Scouts takes on studs in the lower bracket of, I don't know what season this is. Um, but we're going to get off to the action right away, and we see Boy Scouts taking a cake push on studs. Looks like they were able to get a bite before they was able to... Did they get a bite? Uh, push. I think they might have gotten a bite, I'm not sure. But right from the beginning, we're going to see Boy Scouts holding mid here, which means they're going to... Um, studs doing a good job of, of taking their beacons. They've got both beacons. Um... But we're going to see Preg here trying to recap mid. Uh, honestly, I'm not quite too sure which is the better team here. Off the top of my head, I would probably say uh, Boy Scouts has the upper advantage just in, in recent matches. But this one looks like it could go anyway. What do you think, Jake? Since we're, so we're a couple minutes into this game so far. Um, Studs actually have had mid for a lot longer than Boy Scouts have had so far. So could really go either way but based on like previous experience i do say that uh boy scouts probably have the upper hand here just because they've 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 like been ranked three practically the entire season and yeah they just got the cake so that's gonna be a uh, round one yep. pretty much done that's gonna be round one <laughs> quick dispatch for for boy scouts here or for studs here uh prashi goes down we're gonna see a 4v5 3v5 now uh, looks yeah, like two studs a... members able to to hit someone off at mid here. I don't think studs is going to be able to get that cake though. Yeah, I don't think so either. They're going to go in just because why not? Um, but Preg is going to go down easily here. Asking PJ for the, the Red Rover. <laughs> the the loser of this game does completely get knocked out of the. Uh, I forget what season this is. Whatever season this is, playoffs. Yeah, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> 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 too many seasons to look at, like to just watch. But yeah. But yeah. So studs already down around facing elimination here. Yeah, Boy Scouts did just one. <laughs> Callum, the text in this, on the stream is like kind of a uh, to the left, to the right a bit. I'm looking at the text on the stream, unless that's just me. It's like oh, right weird. Me. It is. I think his whole. I think his whole screen is a little off center, but that's fine. I mean, you can yeah, still see fine. everything. You can still see what's happening. It must but, um, be if you're using OBS. It's probably the window is a little screwed up. Yeah. Um. So oh. people people do seem to like the. Uh, to like the uh, change from YouTube to Twitch. Don't forget to slash spec, Callum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, can someone quick? Hang on. Um, I'm going to type in chat. Okay. Jake, can you mod me? I'm not the owner of the channel. I can't. Oh, is it Kelm? Was talking, but it's you're so you're not supposed to be able to hear him. ZX. It's just me and AV commentating here today. Yeah. Callum doesn't play the game enough to know how to commentate it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh... <laughs> so I, I hope you guys do Callum's enjoy the. Compliments uh, on his skin right yeah, I, I hope you guys do enjoy the, uh, the the first stream, or the practically the only stream that is going to have like zero delay on it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For most. Um, but we're going to be you... seeing round two get started here on frosted cakes. Uh, we'll see where we at first. Uh, Sharpe and Rain using their plats for Boy Scouts, but looks like Studs is getting there pretty quickly. Uh, Boy Studs Scouts is did... going to take the jump in. Studs did get to mid quicker. Just, start by, capping just immediately. by maybe a second. So, uh, Boy Scouts rotating around, and it looks like we're going to see a team fight here. We're going to see a cake first push. Blood. Yeah, Studs is able to, to hold all of uh, Boy Scouts' members, so um, that's a, definitely a turn of events from what we saw last game. Well, this is similar to the first fights that happened in, um, in round one, 
Studs did originally keep hold of mid, and then they just choked a bit, and then Boy Scouts managed to get get hold of mid, and then just Studs just really didn't manage to uh, get back in there. Uh, looks like Boy Scouts is uh, Prashi able to get two kills uh, before going down, but I think it's a 1v1. Both of them have one heart, and Ethan is able to retake mid. I do believe, really just close. based off of the fight, because Ethan gained like a heart and a half after he... Uh, after he killed that, so I'm assuming that Ethan's a warrior here. Looks like it, because I don't know how he stayed along for, uh... Yeah. And it Rain looks like... got frosted down. Yeah, Stutz is going to take a full like... push of mid. Wait a second, does Stutz have sharpness? Stutz does have sharpness. Interesting. So they went immediately for... Behind they went for sharpness so immediately, can, uh... rather than going for prop. That's actually an interesting strat. Interesting. Stutz going back yeah. and getting sa the side gen right now, so Stutz is going to have the first side gen of the game. Boy Scouts like... hits a member of Studs off. Prashi's going to go down and try to take the 2v1. And he does take the 2v1 with the sharpness. Oh. He's doing a really, really good job of holding Boy Scouts here. Um, QUS They're is just... going to take a 1v1 with Michael. They actually stalled that out a bit because Michael would have actually gone to cap mid but turned around to fight the guy that was on the bridge. Yeah. I think that was a bad, that was a bad decision by, uh, by Michael there. Hey Callum, can you? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna say your name in chat so you know who it is. Can you can you like mod the account or whatever? Thanks. Yeah, that's him. Mod road while you're at it if you haven't already. All right. So looks like pineapple. Is that a ref? I think that's a ref. That's yeah. That's Kane. Yeah. Uh, looks like for the moment, Studs has had uh, mid for the entire time, so they're, you do see them, as we said, with sharpness. I'm assuming they got resource gen too, but Boy Scouts is going to take a full f right here, chasing Studs back off. Uh, QUS goes down, Boy Scouts easily able to take mid. Boy, uh, Studs just got pro. Uh, looks like it. Is, yeah, Jake, Jake is a robot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, is Jake back yet? Uh, I think he's still logging out. Yep, <laughs> there he goes. So it looks like I'm gonna be soloing this one. Oh, there you go. Hi, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I think I think my internet died for a second there. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> but Studs is gonna reclaim mid here. So Studs definitely getting the upper. Doesn't even have any uh, Emerald Deacons right now. Looks like they're capping one right now. But Studs with both Beacons, so they've got to be out gearing for the moment. I believe right here that um, this could go either way. I think this round would will go to Studs just because they've had mid for a lot longer than Boy Scouts have. So yeah. this game could honestly go either way. If Boy Scouts get eliminated, this is going to be a major upset because Studs have. I don't think Studs have gone any further than Tier 3 this season. Whereas, Boy Scouts have almost made it to Tier 1 multiple times. So, it'd you know, be very we're interesting. We're an interesting see... match here. Yeah, it'd be very interesting to see um, see this uh, almost Tier 1 team lose to this Tier 3 team. Or at least so what the season ranking has said this season. Yeah. Uh, these two Philirons are just chasing this full diamond, giving Red Whoa! Weirdo a chance to kill Ethan. Whoa! That... Red Weirdo took him I down. Didn't... When he had one heart. I didn't, I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even recognize his health for a second. There. I yeah, think he was, was like, on one the entire, yeah, entire time. Managed to get that's the combo. insane. Michael might be trying to pearl on the cake. No, Michael killing one but not killing the other. Qus still at full health. So, Boy Scouts only have full irons, whereas I do believe that studs yeah, are about to get a second full diamond. Yeah. Yeah, we do see Preg so, full diamond right now, and they're able to chase Sharp off the gen. So. Yeah, they are stacking Red Red Weirdo is stacking at the base right now. So yeah, Red Weirdo is starting to get some diamond pieces. Right now, you do see Preg on Boy Scouts right gen, trying to choke him off from getting access to those materials. Uh, we'll see if Preg is able to hold it. He's going to try to take a 1v back off and let Boy Scouts take back their beacon. Uh, retreating here to mid. 
And it looks like we're going to see a fight at mid as Ethan chased Preg to mid. Full diamond going against full iron. And Ethan getting a double hit on Preg. But I think Preg is just the more tanky. Weirdo comes in to help, but Sharp comes in to help too. We're going to see a 2v2. This is three uh, full. This Max comes in too. It's a 3v2 in favor of Boy Scouts. Uh, Studs gets one. Preg on four I do hearts. believe that this 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 fight will go to uh, Studs. And like, oh, or no, or? He, hit a, he hit a Studs member into oh? a void. Um, OUS is, QS is going to come in and try to help and take a 1v1 versus Max. Okay, yeah. uh, he manages to get him. Studs keeping mid here. I don't think Boy Scouts don't have sharpness, do they? Oh, they do. So, Boy Scouts did manage to get sharpness, but did they get resource gen is the question. I don't. I honestly don't think they've had mid long enough to have gotten both of those upgrades. Yeah, I don't think, unless they had like five people stacking on gen, which I don't think they did at any point in this game, I don't think yeah. they got more than just sharpness and protection. Yeah, I agree. But right now, it just seems like we're seeing a lot of battles um, for who can control mid. Um, not, not, no cake rushes for no chokes for now. But uh looks like both teams just seeing who can get mid, but it looks like Boy Scouts is gonna pearl the cake. Michael Pearl's on Preg, um, but has to retreat to the gen. I think Studs has protected their cake with a combination of endstone, wood, and ladders. So it's gonna be kinda hard for uh for Boy Scouts to get inside that cake. Uh Rain's gonna go on to the Preg pushes him off. What's that, Cal? Oh, were they? Oh, okay. Uh, it's like both teams for now <laughs> and it looks like at mid uh, Prashi's gonna pearl on Rain Rain is on 6 hearts uh, QS comes in too so Boy Scouts looks like they're gonna be able to recap mid uh, Michael kinda kinda stuck on their right gen but he's gonna get the full diamond off him and Rain are controlling uh so a little bit the tables have turned a little bit as uh boy scouts trying to choke off studs here but they they don't have they mid do. uh, studs still yeah, has I, mid so i don't think even with this one side gen captured i don't think boy scouts will be able to pull this back just because studs have both of boy scouts sides captured right now studs yeah. are pushing on boy scout cake because it looks like Boy Scouts members are also pushing on Studs Cake. So we're going to see a double push here, it looks like it seems. Sharpe just hit seems QUS like off the map. Preg going for the cake, going for a push on cake. Clover full leather, just the only one there. I'm going to no, keep an full, eye on Studs Cake leather. while you take Boy Scouts Cake. Yeah, the one culture diamond just came back and Preg, I think, died on the. Yeah, they died, so there's no one left on a, on Boy Scouts Cake pushing. But, but take, we see, we have look. we have studs with we have studs with three diamonds, where we only have boy scouts with not even a full diamond yet. They only have well, one piece of diamond. Yeah, red reader is gonna pearl up here, and uh, it looks like Rain's retreating back to mid. Michael's retreating to left gen and screws up a block placement. So red weirdo able to take out both members of boy scouts at their cake. Huge play from him. It looks like PJ taking a 1v1 with Rain, able to kill Rain. So Studs, honestly, doing a great job of contain, um, holding their assets right now. They did right gen, which they're doing right now. So Studs definitely looking like they have the upper hand. I don't know if there was a Suffa there. Did anyone see that? Yeah, I didn't apparently see the Suffa well at all, There was a Suffa there, apparently. <clears throat> I did not see that. I'm not too sure. Oh, I see there. Um, we'll see what the host saw. I don't think. Yeah, yeah exactly. There, there Pretty much just a nothing happening right now. It's big quite stalling stale. period. Studs it's quite stale getting... right now. Studs just. just uh, like... Really, really good at um, really, really good at pushing their or pressuring the side gens right now. Yeah, they're just choking them off right now. Boy uh, Scouts only have one diamond, but uh, whereas these guys on uh, on the studs have four. And take a look over at, at uh, studs or Boy Scouts right gen. We're gonna see a Max versus Preg, and Preg manages to complete the pearl after getting hit off. He almost died yeah. right there. 
I do believe here is where, yeah, they're making a push now. Yep. Uh, no one in the cake yet. Boy Scouts is doing a great job of protecting their cake. They popped one full diamond. Prashi is low. And it looks like Boy Scouts is going to get all all of the studs members. Boy Scouts their need cake. to push so back nice mid job. right now. They need to push mid if they want a chance of winning this. Yep, and I think without, Michael... Gonna without mid, mid they're not going to win this. But I don't think Michael can win 1v1 against a full diamond, though. That's the thing. I don't think so, either. If Let's one of the full diamonds, especially their frosting, which is coming up now to the middle beacon... I don't think anyone other than the Frosting that is full diamond themselves, Boy Scouts, will win that 1v1. Yeah, Michael knows that, retreating here. But uh, I think Boy Scouts is going to send their full diamond, which is Max to... Yeah, it's going to be Frosting mid. v Frosting here. If that... No, I think Max is retreating. He's here retreating we, I think we're going to have studs with a push all here. All the studs are at four mid right of now. Them. Yep, no, one we'll of them's back at base in. still stacking, because I don't, think, I don't think studs want to leave no one at base, just because... Oh, we... Boy Scout's cake is gone. I didn't even see anyone inside. I don't know how they got in there. It looks like they, they got, got it. To, they got it from the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Boy Scouts is just gonna try to tank and sack and see. If they Boy Scouts, but nice you, job by you see Boy Scouts getting rid of their cake defense. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> um, listen, stream. I think um, Jake's <laughs> Jake's mom just came in and told him to <laughs> stop yelling about Minecraft so loud. Um, <laughs> me and Callum are just dying in this call right now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. Callum, you, you just need to uh, focus on the fight because I can't even compensate right now. <laughs> Dude, that was great. <laughs> uh, um, well, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like we're going to be seeing round three here. <laughs> uh, we're looks like Stud's <laughs> Stud able to take the win on Boy Scouts here in round two. Um, only two members left alive for Boy and Michael and Rain. Uh, looks like Michael's going to take one v one with PJ. Uh, get combo here back to mid oh i froze and pj still taking that one view pj off so michael stays alive for now stop placing plats over that i'm not sure what that alluded to uh yes to stop placing plats over that and it looks like it looks like rain and michael are camping on the top of mid uh kios is going to come up and try to take the one with rain yeah Host saying, please don't sky base. So, Boy Scouts is going to have to get down there. Michael falls, and Michael now is on three hearts. He's going to try to go for, uh, he's going to go back to his base, but pearls on him. Uh, Michael down to three hearts, just running for now, and it's going to be hit off. Oh, he's still up there. He is still up there. Yep. Uh, Rain forced to come down now. As you know, Sky Beast is not allowed in the Cake Wars Competitive League. But uh, Red Weird frost him off here. Not getting any shots. But Rain's going to drop and make his way over to the Beacon. Uh, pretty much every studs member pearls on him. QUS got him on the run. But Rain did it before he gets hit down. And <laughs> we're going to see studs take a round two uh, over Boy Scouts, pulling it back to a 1-1 a one -one tie. So, nice playing by studs here. I am very impressed with how they played this round, considering they're the lower-seeded team. Um, they played a good match. Callum, do you want to unmute since, uh, since Jake is gone? Yeah, I think you do. No? Okay. Looks like I'll be selling this one. But uh, here on... I don't even know how you pronounce that map. Chanterelle? I think so. Uh, looks like, yeah, studs did win that. And we're going to be seeing another 5v5 here. 
So we'll see if studs can pull off the upset against Boy Scouts. Also, can you um, can you mod that when you get a chance? In the Twitch, me, Road, and I think that's I think that's it. And Heliology, I think he's already modded though. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> it looks like we're getting some mixed opinion. All right, what do you? of the switch to twitch do you think um what do you prefer do you prefer do you prefer youtube because i mean the twitch um the twitch chat is very isn't it i do like it more but i know we have some uh split decisions on that so we're gonna see four start here in four minutes um if Studs is, is able to pull off this win, they're going to knock Boy Scouts out of the playoffs than anyone expected. Um, so that will be a pretty big upset. And it looks like Boy Scouts ready to go here on Chanterelle round three. Can you go out of F1? Oh, they want you to go out of F1 or something. Maybe so they can see the kills. That's what I'm guessing. And they probably want you to turn off F3 also, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they want scoreboard mainly. That's understandable. And here, uh, Chanterelle, we'll see what team gets submit first. Uh, Boy Scouts going immediately using their plats. So does Studs. And Studs has a little bit of advantage. And again, Studs gets to mid first, like a lot, of, way before Boy Scouts got to mid. Uh, one number of Boy Scouts fell right now, so Studs is just going to take the 5v4 push. Studs just steamrolling Boy Scouts here at mid. But one Boy Scouts member, Clover, is going to try to go for their cake, but sees that he doesn't have a way up. So again, Studs able to take the mid cap easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, portions next game, guys. That's what he said. Um, but looks like Boy Scouts immediately going to try to push back into mid, and they're going to be able to reclaim it. Red Weirdo taking a one v two right now uh, gets popped. He did a so that's a, a waste of bricks on stud side. Um, but Boy Scouts knows what mistakes they made last last game and have to control mid as three studs members go right into mid. Uh, the only Boy Scouts member at mid right now is Max, and he gets and he gets uh gets killed. So, Studs retaking mid for now. Uh, looks like neither teams have beacons right now. Taking one of their beacons. Um, looks like Boy Scouts has a nice staircase to get up to the up to the area where where Studs is standing on, and all five Boy Scouts members are gonna push down and flawless that flawless that team fight. So Boy Scouts able to retake mid here. Yeah, we have confirmation that Jake's mom walked while uh, while streaming, so he will be back soon once his mom goes to sleep. <laughs> uh, studs member uh, Prashi purling in to mid behind. He's going to be able to retake it because Boy Scouts are going to come back to mid on Prashi. Studs is going to follow them, and I think Studs has him sandwiched here. Rain manages to get two before, but both stud Studs members are full heart, so they're going to be able to retake mid here. Uh, looks like, again, Boy Scouts um, not getting one of their beacons while Studs beacons. So Studs doing a great job of managing to managing to cap what they can here. Do you see Boy Scouts taking a 2v3 push here? They're all chasing Red Weirdo. They're going to stop on the gen. <laughs> I think I think we just fell into a hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or cheap back to his base. So that's a little bit of a mistake by studs. Onto a hole. 
But uh, Boy Scouts up top. So that doesn't really have a way up. They're going to try to try to plat a way up right now. PJ on the side. Max is going to go for him. He's got PJ choked off on an island, but he's winning the fight right now. But ooh, he just missed the pearl back into his island. That was tough. He almost managed to clutch that. But we're going to see a 1v1 here at mid between Max and QUS. And Studs able to keep mid for now as Redbeardo comes in to help. Michael goes down. So it's back and forth at mid here. Uh, looks like upgrade. Grids wise, I think studs have both sharp and prot. I'm assuming resource gen two. Actually, I think Boy Scouts does have prot too, if I can see it correctly. So obviously, both teams having mid long enough to get some upgrades. But we're gonna see a team fight here, and it's a two v two. Well, it's it's actually uh, looks like studs wins one of the fights, and studs is gonna try to clean up sharp. Manages to do it. Very close fights here. Um, Studs does have their frosting at mid. Ethan's going to try to drop and take the 1v1, but gets gets he gets Weirdo down to 2. People should take this fight, but Prashi does come in with full iron. And I think Prashi's going to get Michael. Michael was trying to get back up, but Michael is going to go. He just got kind of stuck there. And Rain is going to drop in. Rain's going to drop in behind Prashi. Prashi comes back. He almost got hit off. That was a really close call for Prashi. So Suds has had mid for the last about four minutes. Um, and I think Boy Scouts is going to take three people to mid and try to try to win it. It's going to be a 2v3. Any other players get back in. Uh, PJ killing Clover. And Max is going to take a 1v1 with PJ. PJ's on four. Um, so it looks like in a turn of events, I think Preg is going to... Max is going to take a 1v1 versus Max. It's a full diamond fight. Rain comes in to help. Uh, Max is getting Max is getting hit off. He's only at three hearts. And PJ's going to chase him. And I think Max is able to pearl in. But he's doing a great job of, of containing mid right now. Oh, Jake needs to be whitelisted. There we go. And it looks like Stutz is going to go on the cake. PJ looks like he got out of bite before he got suffoed. So that was that was a really fast cake rush. Um, I barely saw it in time. Studs managed to get a, a bite on on their cake. Uh, Boy Scouts' base is, is really messy right now, so they need to clear some of these blocks up if they wanna if they want a straight team fight. But I think Prashi's gonna take a one v one with Max. Looks like PJ's gonna come in to help. Red Weirdo comes in. And Boy Scouts able to take mid, but Max Max sitting at mid right now. He's going to take a one v one versus Red Beardo. Comes in to help. So it's going to be a it's going to be a two v two here. Max at one. PJ also, but QS comes in to help. They got Ethan. Ethan at one right now. He does one hit and studs. So I don't know how they won that. Honestly, I I think all of the members are pretty much at one, um, except for Preg who came in there late. But again, studs just getting getting geared here. They have all all the beacon, or they have both of their beacons. Um, they've had mid for about the last six minutes. Be surprised to see a a cake rush soon. Right, looks like Jake's mom went to sleep finally. But three Boy Scouts members members are gonna come into mid. That's a smart move by Boy Scouts. Uh, looks like Red Weird. Goes in. QUS is going to come in. We're going to see a very tanky fight right here. Uh, Studs gets one member, but Boy Scout's able to take the fight here. And it looks like one member pearled on Studs' cake. They don't see him. There was a tra trap, so I think he only got about one or two bites before he got hit back up. But that was a really good cake sneak. And it looks like Boy Scout's taking a Studs' island on top of the whatever tree, I think. I think it's a tree. Take Consistent on top of the tree right here. Uh, pretty much, we've got studs members and at least two full diamond boy scouts members. Uh, we see Michael's going to pearl on their left gen. QUS pearls as well and takes down Michael, able to defend the gen. Good move by Michael, but uh, he was low going. Clover's going to go in and and block himself in, but oh, I think that's a suffo. 
I think that's a cell. Looks like a cephal on their cake. But I'm not sure. We'll see what happens there. I don't know if he got any bites. I don't know if he managed to break that last layer of endstone. Did get suffered. Yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna see. It looks like Diego's deciding what to do here. Because it looked like a suffo, but he he was also on top of cakes, so I'm not sure. Um so studs just chilling at mid for now. See, gonna see mid. Uh, weirdo trying to frost him off. He's gonna drop on mid. We're gonna see a full diamond one v one. Rain comboing red weirdo, but red weirdo co co pulling it back with the frost. Three hearts. This is gonna be a really close one. Oh, red weirdo chugs a gap, and I think Rain's got to get out of there. I don't. I don't know if he has a pearl or not because it's an it's an eight heart versus the three heart right now. And Preg comes in. Q. He's just gonna stack mid. But Boy Scouts also does have three full diamonds right now. Uh, so we're going to see a straight team fight right now. And it looks like it's going in favor of Boy Scout. Able to take that rush. Red Weird are still alive with five hearts. Uh, looks like Max is going to go for him. And he is getting some hits on Max. He is going to get popped. Um, as Prashi tried to come in, but it was a little too late. So this is the first time in a while that uh, Boy Scouts has actually had mid try to get some, I assume they're going to try to get probably resource gen and sharp 2 and prot 2, because I'm pretty sure at this point studs is probably fully upgraded. <clears throat> but we're going to see another 1v1 at mid. A uh, 2v1 actually in favor of studs. Um, we'll see if studs decides to cap. I think they're going to cap um, pretty much instantly. We do see Preg going immediately. He's a to Boy Scouts right gen. So it looks like they're going to try to choke him off. Um, Studs does only have one. No, they do have two. On whose cake? Oh, on Studs' cake. That was that was a cake sneak a hundred. I didn't even see that happening. So Studs' cake is gone. I wasn't even there. Well, on the run now, but I think he must have just got on one of their gens and pearled in without us even seeing it. Yeah. From oh, he got he underpearled from from mid. Wow. So studs, uh, that was the tables definitely turned. Nice cake sneak right there. Uh, no one saw it happening, but studs is just going to be forced to stay. Honestly, if they can wait, if they can wait it out, what is it? It's probably actually it's probably ten minutes from now. So I don't I don't even think they can wait that long. It's, looks like Boy Scouts is going to choke off studs here. We see Michael on their right gen. Oh, everyone who can't see the time in chat. All right, I'm going to be reading the time at, at constant intervals. So right now, um, we're at 11.2 minutes into the game so far. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Studs' cake is gone. Studs' cake. Oh, they can't. Yeah, they can't see. Uh, they can't see the chat. So Studs' cake is gone. Uh, both teams with five people right now. 11.5 minutes into the game, and it looks like here comes Boy Scouts inside Studs' base right now. No one has died yet. Looks like Boy Scouts pushing those Studs members back. And Rain on one. So Studs get a kill on one. Uh, Max does kill, get a kill on QUS. So in the process, Studs loses one now. So on Boy Scouts going in, able to take out one member. Let's see in some of those beacons. Because right now, Studs doesn't have any beacons. I think Boy Scouts is going to take a push here. Uh, they're basically all full diamond. Looks like they're getting ready to come in. Studs with only one beacon right now, so that means their gaps and pearls are really low. You see PJ trying to block up here. from coming in. Just trying to block up their base. And it looks like, I think Prashi is going to go on. So Boy Scouts, if they go in, have a 4v4 right now, as Prashi went to the island. But Max is going to... A 1v1 with Max, and both of them are low. They're both on five hearts. And Clover comes in, and Prashi is going to go down. Wait, did he? He made that pearl, didn't he? Insane pearl by Prashi, but Boy Scouts here. Uh, Stud's doing a good job of staying alive. Ethan is on nine. Not down yet. Prashi eventually does go down. Two Studs members go down. PJ goes down. And it's only Preg and, and the Red Weirdo left here. So we're going to see a 2v5. 
<clears throat> so, the last one's alive for studs. Sorry? So, he's going to be getting their resources while studs choose to camp on top here, taking some taking some spam. But Max is going to pearl. He can stay on. He gets one of them off, but Frank pearls back up. Um, they do have a frosting off, so they have some projectiles. But Rain's going to come up, get Preg off. I don't know where. Looks like they both pearled to mid. Nice pearls by them. Managing to stay alive. Uh, Red Weirdo's going to go for their cake right now. That's his only opportunity. He pearls in. He's going to have a 1v1 versus Sharp. Actually, if, if Preg can get the he has a pick. He's almost in. But the Red Weirdo goes down. It's only Preg left. That was honestly a good chance by Preg as he dies here. Almost managed to get Boy Scout's cake. But that's going to do it for this one as we see Boy Scouts taking the 2 1 win over Studs. Um, we have a new request here. It looks like Boy Scouts uh, saying that they have no requests. Alrighty. Do you want me to? No. Are you still going? Or okay, cool. Um, well, it looks like I think PJ says that Studs does have a couple requests. See who chooses to get frozen here. Stream will be back up. Stream will be back up soon, guys. Callum is just um, changing his settings here to make it to make you be able to allow you to be able to see the full picture. But um, I'll, I'll keep you updated uh, since you can't GC chat right now. We don't have any screen share requests for the moment. But I'm assuming that a couple of people will be frozen since we do have uh, a number of refs here in the lobby. We do have Jay Kane. Um, Kane. Actually, I think that might be it. So I think we're going to see a maximum of two screen shares unless they can get more refs in. But um, so in that last round, it came down to the fact that Boy Scouts were perfectly able to cake sneak, um, even though Studs basically controlled the entire game. I mean, Studs, Studs had mid for about eight minutes um, before their cake got eaten. So they were definitely the better stacked team. It looked like they, were, they had the upper hand. But uh, Boy Scouts able to get that sneak in and eat their cake. Uh, pending SS requests right now. Again, 2-1 win for Boy Scouts over Studs. So, assuming uh, no one on no one on Boy Scouts looks like Studs is out of the uh, playoffs this season after that loss. Yep. Oh, Noid joined the channel. What's up, Noid? I don't know if you're talking or not. Nope. Alrighty. Hello. Oh, what was that, Callum? Was that like an intro or something? Oh, I like it. Looks nice. Cool streaming. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, you fixed stuff. Yeah, it looks good. Um, looks like we don't have any screen shares yet. For some reason, recently it's been taking a while for for refs to figure out who they're screen sharing versus how it you know used to be back in the early days of the M. The early days. The early days. In the early days, we used to blacklist cheaters without having to screen share them. Man, that was true. It's a real dictator era. Can yeah. they hear Noid? Or I think they can. All right, cool. So it doesn't sound like I'm talking to myself. 
Can they actually not hear Callum on stream? Yeah, they can't. We can hear them, but they can't. But yeah, by design. Yeah. By design. Rain is frozen. So that's one Boy Scouts player. It's gone down. Sharp gets frozen too. Two Boy Scouts players go down. Uh, gonna be it, or if we'll see any more. But uh, pending SS requests. Lobby unfrozen, other than those 21. Nice. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Stay updated in CWC, CWCL Hub uh, to see what the outcome of these screen shares are. Uh, so again, Boy Scouts able to take the 2v1 win over Studs. Boy Scouts taking round 1 and 3, and Studs managing to pull off round 2. But Rain and Sharp get frozen. Um, that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the Twitch channel, which is new. Uh, we're going to do all of our streams on Twitch from now on. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for us. Thank you.